Greetings, everyone. Today, we find ourselves immersed in the captivating world of ancient Mesopotamian mythology. In this video, we will embark on an exploration of the deities Enlil and Enki. So, make yourself comfortable and prepare to be captivated by the rich tapestry of these mythological figures. And as always, don't forget to leave a comment, hit the like button, and subscribe to our channel. Your engagement is invaluable and helps us continue bringing you more compelling content. With that, let the video begin. Enlil Enlil, one of the most prominent deities in the ancient Mesopotamian pantheon, held a significant role in the Sumerian and later Akkadian, Babylonian, and Assyrian civilizations. As a complex and multifaceted god, Enlil's influence extended over various domains, including weather, agriculture, kingship, and destiny. This comprehensive exploration of Enlil's character, mythology, and cultural significance will shed light on his role in the ancient Sumerian belief system. In Sumerian mythology, Enlil was considered the son of An, the sky god, and Ki, the earth goddess, and was often associated with the air and wind. His name translates to Lord Wind, emphasizing his control over the atmospheric forces and his ability to bring about both beneficial and destructive weather conditions. Enlil's divine authority surpassed that of other gods, making him one of the most revered and feared deities in the pantheon. Enlil played a pivotal role in the creation of the universe. According to the Sumerian creation myth, the Enuma Elish, Enlil separated the heavens from the earth and established order and harmony in the cosmos. His actions were instrumental in the formation of the boundaries between the various realms, including the earth, the sky, and the underworld. This act of cosmic separation solidified Enlil's position as a supreme deity, responsible for maintaining the natural order. Enlil's character embodied both positive and negative aspects. On one hand, he was regarded as a benevolent god who provided favorable winds and rain for agricultural prosperity. His association with fertility and agriculture was crucial in an agrarian society like ancient Sumer, where the success of crops and the availability of water were vital for survival. Enlil was often depicted with a mace, symbolizing his power to bring forth abundant harvests and ensure the welfare of humanity. However, Enlil's authority was not limited to matters of prosperity alone. He was also associated with destructive storms, hurricanes, and floods, which could devastate entire cities and wipe out crops. In these instances, Enlil was seen as a fearsome and unpredictable force of nature, capable of wreaking havoc and bringing about chaos and destruction. This duality in Enlil's nature highlights the Sumerians' recognition of the inherent power and unpredictability of natural forces. Enlil's role extended beyond weather and agriculture to encompass kingship and political power. In Sumerian society, the king derived his authority and legitimacy directly from the gods, with Enlil being the ultimate source of their power. It was believed that Enlil bestowed the divine me upon the king, which encompassed a wide range of divine powers and attributes necessary for effective rulership. These, me, were considered the divine decrees that established the foundations of civilization, including the principles of justice, law, and social order. Enlil's association with kingship also tied him closely to the city of Nippur, located in present-day Iraq. Nippur was considered the religious and political center of Sumer, and Enlil was revered as its patron deity. The city housed the Temple of Enlil, known as the Eker, which served as a focal point for religious ceremonies and political activities. The king, as the earthly representative of Enlil, would often consult the priests and seek divine guidance from Enlil's oracle in matters of governance and warfare. Enlil's influence extended beyond the Sumerian civilization and continued into the Akkadian, Babylonian, and Assyrian periods. As the ancient Mesopotamian cultures interacted and merged over time, Enlil's attributes became intertwined with those of other deities. In the Akkadian pantheon, Enlil was assimilated with the god Elul, while in Babylonian mythology, 
he was equated with Marduk, the patron deity of Babylon. These syncretic associations allowed Enlil's worship to persist and adapt to the changing religious landscape of Mesopotamia. Enlil's significance in Mesopotamian culture is evident in the extensive literary and religious texts that mention him. The Enlil and Ninlil myth recounts the seduction of Ninlil, Enlil's consort, and their subsequent marriage, resulting in the birth of the moon god Nana Sin. The epic poem Enmerkur and the Lord of Arata narrates Enlil's involvement in the construction of the Tower of Babel and the confusion of languages. These myths and legends not only provided entertainment but also reinforced Enlil's position as a central figure in the religious and cultural beliefs of the ancient Mesopotamians. Enlil's worship was characterized by elaborate rituals and festivals conducted in his honor. These celebrations often involved processions, offerings, music, and dance, with priests and priestesses playing an integral role in the religious ceremonies. The Sumerians placed great importance on maintaining a harmonious relationship with Enlil, as his favor was crucial for their well-being and prosperity. Enlil's influence also extended to the realm of divination and prophecy. The Sumerians believed that Enlil held the Tablets of Destiny, which contained the fate of individuals and nations. It was believed that Enlil could grant or withhold success, depending on his judgment and divine will. As such, Diviners and priests would consult Enlil's oracle to seek guidance and insight into future events, hoping to gain an understanding of Enlil's intentions and navigate the complexities of life. Iconographically, Enlil was often depicted as a bearded deity wearing a horned crown or helmet, symbolizing his association with divinity and power. His mace, representing his control over natural forces, was a prominent attribute in his representations. These depictions served as visual reminders of Enlil's authority and dominance in the divine hierarchy. Enlil's influence gradually declined with the rise of other deities and the shifting religious landscape of Mesopotamia. As Babylon grew in power, Marduk, the patron god of Babylon, took precedence over Enlil. However, Enlil's legacy persisted through the written records and the cultural impact of the Sumerians as their religious and mythological traditions continued to influence subsequent civilizations in the region. Enki Enki is an ancient deity from Sumerian mythology, one of the oldest recorded belief systems in human history. As the god of freshwater, wisdom, magic, and creation, Enki played a significant role in the pantheon of Sumerian gods. This legendary figure was revered by the Sumerians, who attributed various attributes and stories to him. The origins of Enki can be traced back to the ancient civilization of Sumer, which flourished in the southern region of Mesopotamia, modern-day Iraq, around 4500 BCE. The Sumerians, known for their advancements in writing, agriculture, and urban development, held a polytheistic religious system, worshipping numerous gods and goddesses. Enki, also known by the names Ea and Nudamud, was one of the most prominent deities within this pantheon. Enki's domain primarily revolved around freshwater, including the rivers, lakes, and underground aquifers that sustained life in the arid Mesopotamian landscape. The Sumerians relied heavily on irrigation for their agricultural endeavors, and the presence of freshwater was crucial to their survival. Enki, as the god of these life-giving waters, held immense importance in their daily lives. One of Enki's defining characteristics was his association with wisdom and knowledge. In Sumerian mythology, he was considered the source of all knowledge and the ultimate repository of divine wisdom. Enki was often depicted as a bearded figure, seated on a throne, wearing a horned crown, a symbol of his divine authority. He was frequently accompanied by two streams of water, signifying his control over the rivers and his role as the provider of wisdom to humanity. Enki's association with wisdom extended beyond mere knowledge. He was also considered the god of magic and sorcery, possessing the ability to manipulate the natural world and influence human affairs through his mystical powers. 
Sumerian texts portray Enki as a master of the arts of divination, incantation, and prophecy. His knowledge of magic and the supernatural made him a powerful ally and a formidable adversary, depending on his whims and the circumstances. The myths involving Enki are numerous and multifaceted, providing insights into his role as a creator and benefactor of humanity. One of the most well-known tales featuring Enki is the myth of Enki and the World Order. In this narrative, the god sought to establish order in the world and assigned various roles and responsibilities to each deity. Enki played a pivotal role in this process, ensuring the smooth functioning of society and the divine hierarchy. The myth of Enki and Inanna is another prominent story that showcases Enki's wisdom and cunning. Inanna, the goddess of love and fertility, sought to obtain Enki's sacred mess, which contained the secrets of civilization. Enki, recognizing her intentions, devised a clever plan to outsmart Inanna and ensure that the knowledge within the mess remained under his control. This myth highlights Enki's role as a guardian of knowledge and the lengths he would go to protect it. Enki's creative abilities were also central to Sumerian mythology. In the myth of Enki and Ninma, he participated in the creation of humanity. Alongside the goddess Ninma, Enki shaped clay figurines and breathed life into them, giving birth to the first humans. This act of creation established Enki as a divine progenitor, responsible for the existence of humanity and its well-being. Enki's relationship with other gods and goddesses was complex and multifaceted. He was the son of An, the sky god, and his counterpart in the pantheon was Enlil, the god of wind and storms. Enki and Enlil often found themselves in conflict, representing the tension between the forces of creation and destruction, respectively. Despite their disagreements, Enki and Enlil were crucial in maintaining the balance of power among the gods. Enki was also associated with the goddess Ninhursag, who represented the earth and fertility. Together, Enki and Ninhursag were responsible for the continuation of life and the growth of crops. Their union represented the harmonious relationship between water and earth, which was vital for sustaining agricultural productivity in the ancient Mesopotamian civilization. The cultural significance of Enki cannot be overstated. As one of the most revered gods in Sumerian mythology, Enki played a vital role in religious rituals, festivals, and daily worship. The Sumerians believed that by honoring Enki, they could ensure the fertility of their crops, the abundance of fresh water, and the prosperity of their communities. Temples dedicated to Enki were constructed throughout Sumer, serving as centers of religious and administrative activities. Enki's influence extended beyond the boundaries of Sumer. As neighboring civilizations encountered Sumerian culture through trade and interactions, Enki's mythology and worship gradually spread to other regions of the ancient Near East. The Akkadians, Babylonians, and Assyrians, who succeeded the Sumerians, adopted Enki into their own pantheons, often merging him with their own water and wisdom deities. This assimilation and syncretism contributed to the continuity and endurance of Enki's legacy. Enki's significance can also be seen in the literary and religious texts of the ancient Mesopotamian civilization. The Sumerians wrote numerous hymns, prayers, and incantations dedicated to Enki, praising his wisdom, creative powers, and benevolence. These texts not only served as expressions of devotion, but also as a means of preserving and transmitting cultural knowledge from one generation to another. In addition to religious texts, Enki's influence permeated other literary genres. The Sumerians produced epic poems, such as the Epic of Gilgamesh, which featured Enki as a central character. In this epic, Enki aided the hero Gilgamesh in his quest for immortality, highlighting the god's role as a guide and mentor to humanity. Enki's portrayal in art and iconography further reflects his importance in Sumerian society. Sculptures, reliefs, and cylinder seals depict Enki in various forms, emphasizing his association with water, wisdom, and creative power. 
These visual representations not only served as religious symbols, but also conveyed social and political messages, reinforcing the divine authority wielded by Enki and the legitimacy of the ruling elite. The decline of Sumerian civilization and the rise of new empires marked a transitional period for Enki's worship and mythology. As Babylon became the dominant power in the region, the Babylonian pantheon merged Enki with their own water god, Marduk, resulting in a new deity known as Ie Marduk. This syncretic deity retained Enki's association with wisdom and freshwater, but also incorporated Marduk's role as a warrior and protector of Babylon. With the advent of Christianity and the spread of monotheistic religions, Sumerian mythology gradually faded into obscurity. The temples dedicated to Enki fell into disrepair, and the once vibrant rituals and festivals associated with his worship ceased to exist. The rich tapestry of Enki's stories and his divine presence in the lives of the ancient Sumerians became a relic of the past, preserved only in the surviving texts and archaeological remnants. However, the legacy of Enki continues to resonate in modern times. The study of Sumerian mythology and the exploration of ancient Mesopotamian culture have experienced a resurgence of interest in the fields of archaeology, anthropology, and comparative religion. Enki's stories and symbolism offer valuable insights into the worldview, values, and aspirations of one of the earliest recorded civilizations, shedding light on the origins of human belief systems and the foundations of human culture. Enlil and Enki were two significant gods within the Sumerian pantheon. Enlil represented order, justice, and authority, while Enki embodied wisdom, creativity, and benevolence. Through their myths, rituals, and temples, the Sumerians sought to establish a connection with these deities, seeking their protection, guidance, and blessings. The worship of Enlil and Enki played a central role in the religious and cultural life of the Sumerian civilization and left a lasting impact on the religious traditions of Mesopotamia. Thank you for being a part of this captivating journey with us. Your viewership and engagement are deeply appreciated. As you prepare to depart, we kindly request that you take a moment to subscribe to our channel, like the video, and leave a comment. Your continued support is invaluable as it allows us to continue delivering compelling content for you to enjoy. We eagerly anticipate your return for our next video. Until we meet again, farewell.